but damn. Who can tell me, damn? Say X. channel if this is your first time joining us welcome 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 to it i really do hope that you stay you subscribe and you become a part busy x family now i know i didn't enter the video properly but guys we just come back from spending the morning with ghd sneak so got invited and she bought me as a plus one xoxo love you so much my doll um and it was so much fun they styled our hair with their new ghd max and we just had a fun morning of playing around with the products them teaching us how to actually create um waves with the product and which is so much fun like the team was so cool Snee and i had a blast listening to music jamming all the vibes all the vibes all the vibes but this vlog is going to be a weekly vlog as per usual so i want to start off the vlog by showing you guys what they actually got us um not got us but well, they gave us at the am i gonna call it an event it was an event child the two-man event but basically first things first i'm still drinking my smoothie <laughs> that they gave us there then i feel like this is like the thing i need to show you guys last they gave us this no i mean also show that one later first okay they got us the ghd bodyguard this is what you use um before you actually go ahead and apply heat to your hair it's obviously just a heat protecting spray then they gave us the ghd perfect ending spray this is what you apply after you've um, applied heat to keep everything in place and then they gave us this detangling comb this is just what you would use after you've done your curls and stuff just to make sure everything blends and looks beautiful and seamless together then guys 
another one in the bag they got us the ghd max which guys honestly rocks jc products are freaking amazing um they're quite expensive so i always love to get them in pr because they're expensive but let me tell you they really do an amazing job um of curling your hair and here is my own i don't want to take it fully out the box i still want to put it on my story but here's the ghd max guys it's basically just a wide plate ghd super stunning super sleek i did get the white one last year as you guys would remember if you guys were subscribed then and also this is a perfect time to tell you that if you're not already subscribed to my channel you know exactly what to do right now subscribe but they did give me the white one um last year so i'm excited to and it's the thinner one as well so i'm excited to try this one out um and to play more around with it i did play around with it obviously today but i'm excited to you know get into my styling bag or whatever then guys we also did get this from revlon today i actually oh i don't know if i'm supposed to show this yet but i'm pretty sure by the time this is out i will be allowed to i'm pretty sure this is in store actually i don't know but you know what we'll figure it out later but we got the revlon sophia's eyes wide open package they've come out with more eye stuff guys revlon is in their birkin bag let me tell you that for free they release such amazing products and i feel like out of a lot of the brands in south africa i feel like they're the most consistent with giving us innovative new stuff because as i always like say i think the part about makeup that kind of demotivates me and doesn't get me as excited anymore is because like people aren't coming out with new stuff like get me excited put meg the stallion like on your brand like revlon has like do something spontaneous something crazy you know bring out new products that's my biggest thing because people get bored and by people i'm talking about myself <laughs> so this is what they've given us in here they kind of just showed everything they come out with so it's got a mascara brow products and then at the back we've got these really dope line creators so yeah um then it says hi there please take me with on your next shopping trip did you know i am made of 55 percent hemp how cool is that so you sent me this bag that i will use when i go shopping and then i got all the products so it's the eyes wide open mascara and then we've got the brow ink semi-permanent brow ink so scared about semi-permanent products so i'm not going to use too much of this if i am to try it but i got the brow ink there because gave me they got me two three different colors and then i got this line creator which i actually already use this guys but i think they've just come out with spanking new colors so i already have this product and i use this in my waterline pretty much every single time i do my makeup already so keen to try these out i have this one and i'm pretty sure i have this one as well so the only new one here is this blue one which i'm definitely i don't know if you guys have noticed if you follow me on tiktok you'll see that i'm back in my eyeshadow bag i'm trying to be i'm trying to fall back in love with eyeshadow guys i'm really i'm trying i'm trying and that's really what you can ask of me guys like i am trying but it's 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 not gonna be easy but i'm gonna try i'm just gonna literally put this back so that i can film it for my instagram <laughs> guys this is story of my life i actually figured out later but today guys we are actually going to an event with snee and the event starts in literally two hours but snee just dropped me here and she went home so that she can change and i think she's, gonna, she's also gonna redo her makeup I just need to change i don't know what i'm going to be changing into but i know i need to change and i also just want to clean up my apartment space because it's so messy and yeah it actually when i walked in here it gave me anxiety so i was like right now i need to clean up i also want to touch up my makeup redo my eyes not like redo because i really didn't do anything to them but just add some color to my eyes guys i really don't like not wearing um lashes and i should know this about myself by now which, which is why i should probably start being consistent with lash extensions so i don't have to keep applying lashes because really i don't like this look on me it's not really a good look and i don't always like to put lashes on specifically like for today i don't like to my mascara really did come through i've used the sky high but even so like i love a good lash 
But yeah, I'm gonna change my makeup, change my outfit, and then we'll be ready to go. It's for styling concept since their 16th birthday. They said they have tattoos and piercings. I'm gonna be getting a tattoo with Sneed today. She doesn't have one, but what she doesn't know, she's getting one today. She's getting one today. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Let me get into cleaning because I have anxiety. And also, I want to take some content for Topo because it's the weekend, baby. So we got to get lit and we got to get some Topo Chico. And that's all period. Hello, my dolls. So I'm pretty much done cleaning for the most part. Um, I just have some laundry that is in right now. But I actually um, am here to touch up my makeup because my makeup, guys, is from this morning. So obviously um it's a goal and i also didn't put on like highlighter i didn't do a bunch of things because i knew that it's supposed to be like an everyday but as i told you guys like i'm really not a fan of i'm not a fan of um not wearing lashes i'm not a fan of i'm not a light makeup look girl although i do tutorials and show you guys how to achieve it because maybe you guys are it's really not my preference my preference is full coverage lashes the works i'm a full coverage girl i don't know what to tell you but guys actually i was watching this um youtube video just now which was brilliant like i loved it it was by a youtuber called onel Oman. i'm sure you guys watch her if you guys don't watch her do yourself a favor and get on to Arnel, guys. She literally was spitting facts. If you guys haven't watched her latest chit chat, get ready with me. I definitely recommend it. Specifically, if you're a YouTuber or if you're a content creator or looking to get into the content creator space, just to get an, some perspective on influencers, content creators, and kind of the whole um, shift in like what viral content has done to sort of change the meaning or has in the in brand's eyes for the most part changed a lot about how they see influencers and why sometimes they won't look into investing or like won't see the benefit of investing into influencers because there's been a rise of like virality with apps like um your tiktok which is great obviously because um maybe people who wanted to get into content creating found a space where they can get into it but it's like what pe i think she was explained it beautifully but like what she was basically saying is like what brands don't really get is like to in order to be influential you need to be able to affect some sort of desire in your audience to buy something people need to trust you being an influencer is literally all about trust your audience needs to trust you so just because um i may have a video maybe that got like a million views or i may have a million followers it doesn't mean those people trust me it doesn't mean i like built a community and an audience that trusts my voice for example somebody who is just making content in their spare time may upload a video on youtube and they get or on tiktok let's say then they get a million views and maybe let's say from those million views they get thirty thousand sub followers right and those thirty thousand people may have followed them for different reasons maybe it's because um they thought they were funny they thought they were hot whatever the case is but it didn't have anything to do with um a particular product or a specific a particular trust that the audience member now has had with this person so a brand will now approach them and be like oh we want you to um market this straightener and then they market the straightener and they're like you have thirty thousand followers but like nobody bought this thing what's up a lot of the times you don't just follow someone and be like okay i'm gonna trust them a lot of the time like building up influence takes time because building that rapport with your followers it takes time it's just like what it is it takes time and i think people are getting to the point or brands are getting to the point where it's like they don't see the roi on somebody who has a lot of followers but doesn't necessarily have the engagement or have the rapport with their followers and be like oh influencer marketing doesn't have um it doesn't reap rewards whatever the case is and it's like but you're not picking the right people. Sometimes it's better to pick the person with 10,000 followers who their audience trusts them. It's like, if this person, even though they have 10,000 um, 10, followers, at least a thousand people are gonna buy that thing that she posted. Whereas you go to the person with a million, this is actually an example that she used, guys. Or you go to the million, the person with a million followers, and then only 50 people buy, and then you get shocked because you're like, what the hell? 
But it's like, you didn't pick based off of research. You just pick because you saw followers. Guys, I'm just putting a bit of pink in here because I actually don't know. Um, we're supposed to wear a touch of pink. And like, I genuinely have no idea what my touch of pink is going to be. I don't have pink anything. I'm trying to think. But at this point, guys, the touch of pink might have to be my makeup. <laughs> so the girl is ready to go to the event and stuff. I'm going to bring you guys with, even though my bag is not big enough to fit you guys in it. I'm low-key not enjoying having pink on my eyes, guys, because I'm just not used to it. You guys know nude is my life and my livelihood. But, excuse me, I guess this is us today. But I don't have any pink clothes, so I mean, I really didn't have a choice. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the car. Sneeze downstairs. TTYR. Oh, the lighting is about to change, but damn. man. Damn. Say X. But guys, I'm with Sneakerhead. Are you sure these are not from your freezer, dog? They're not from my freezer, dude. They're from the fridge. I just think that I put them too far back. Summer's fruits are killing my teeth. I bought us a snack. Because we haven't eaten today. <laughs> and all she's been doing is roasting my snack. This is the last time I put friendship first. Uh -uh, don't. No, no, I'm not bringing you a snack again this way. Don't do that. I'm not. I'm In not. friendship, do you give up? Show me, I'm giving up right now <laughs> because you obviously hate me! Anyways, guys, um, we're heading to, we're going so far, we're going to Bira. 40 minutes. I'm gonna get to know each other all over again. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing icebreakers in the car so that we can get to know each other from the beginning. I know you're enough. I feel like you can get to know me some more. I know enough. <laughs> you wanna know less? <laughs> Please. Too bad for you because you're about to know even more, bitch. 40 minutes, guys. 40 minutes of get to know me tag. I'm gonna ask Ni what are her interests these days? Hobbies? New friends? Do I have any? Yeah, you don't have any of those things. You better not get sad. <laughs> it's fake kills. Original. Popping on me high grade, sipping on me liquor. Girls, them I come, them I want, them I take her. Bad man, me I come in, me I wanna take her. Girls, them I come, them I want in on the liquor. I steady sipping on my liquor. Then I tell her me she give her never trust another nigga I say she give me on the nigga Say she feeling on the nigga Hey guys, so last time I think I spoke to you guys was at home So we went to the event It was Huabata darling, like it was really cold So Sne and I had to leave early Because Sne and I like it your finisher <laughs> for cold. <laughs> we are subbing the cold. We have Alostra for the cold. So we're here at Monty. We came to cream to do dinner. I want to show you guys the setup because when I tell you we are at a romantic dinner for two, a candlelit dinner for two. <laughs> Table for two, guess I'm. Table for literally. Get that trigger warning, trigger warning. Guys, do you see this? Um to numto I can't get to know me for real. Now, now. We're on a date. Now. now we're really doing it. Right now. Guys, Snee is going to show me the parts of herself that nobody has ever seen before. Shut I'm going to see parts of Snee that you guys hey don't know and that I didn't know. I'm getting to know my date, okay? Guys, when I tell you we're literally on the balcony, I didn't show you guys this part. I need to show you guys this part. <laughs> we're in Rome, Gesan. <laughs> we're in Rome, babe. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna take you with our little two-man romantic dinner on a Friday. <laughs> who's that, baby, tell me who's that? Look back, baby, make you look back. Ah, move that, where you move that? Touch that, baby, we just wanna touch that. Enter me right now you they mash up the place, ah. Uh. Enter me right now. Uh. Cause you are what see me right uh. The only special one for me. Uh. Now you be the only one I see. Anywhere you go, I wanna be. Can you feel up my friends? Let's have a good time Baby, I'ma make you swear Let's have a good time Baby, I'ma make you swear 
pour me ya, say she give me pour me ya. Inna ya, say she give me inna ya. Ah, man a wine, say she give me dirty wine. Man a grind, say she give me dirty wine. Say, girl, say my wine in the. Hey guys, so we are back from our little excursion for the night, date night slash event. It was really so much fun. I had such a good time tonight. Me and Sneezerini on the town. Girl, what is it? What do you say? Girl? No. Girl about town? I don't fucking know. Anyways, um, yeah, we had a good time, is what I'm trying to say. Um, the food at Cream is so good. Like, I feel like I enjoyed. Okay, well, let me not say all the food. The food that I had was really good. We went to the Cream in Monty and I really enjoyed it. Um, so now we're back. Afterwards, we went to Monte Casino just to um, go and smoke some hubli because it is Friday after all, guys. And I'm trying to keep the hubli smoking to once a week where I can at most twice. That's basically me. You guys really thought I wasn't in my homebody era, and I am, okay? <laughs> but y'all guys, we're in bed, looking cute. Um, it's literally the time right now is six minutes past 12 i need to get to bed asap because i actually have an early morning tomorrow i have to wake up i feel like my aim is to wake up half past 80 so that um i can get ready because i need to go do my hair i'm getting my hair done tomorrow i know you guys probably like did you just got your wig styled but like you know what guys i'm in my braid school era i'm in my braid school era like i need to go and get some braids on my head so tomorrow morning i have an appointment to help us nine to get my braids done so i'm probably going to be parked there the whole day which is kind of unfortunate for me but you know what when we're growing up they said you must suffer for beauty i don't know how true that statement is but like i am suffering for beauty at that point but you know what i am the one who changed my appointment like 15 times so i have to do it but i will talk to you guys in the morning everybody stay safe be warm hopefully wherever you are and love this this is a small style knotless braids from cbl i remember the last time i actually managed to keep a hairstyle for a month it was when i did these knotless braids last year so i was like you know what perfect time to do them again so initially i just wanted to go brown so i done a color four then she's like let's add a little 30 to give it a little bit of a uh, a little bit of, uh, uh. so this is mostly um color four and then we're just like a little bit of 30 to give it a bit of um gingery vibes but i really like it let me show you guys how long it is this is the hair let me turn this light on this is the hair lens so it's quite the one as you can see but just how i personally like it you guys know that like i always do long braids i just like my braids to be long not too long but like long enough sorry i'm just zooming out there but yeah guys i'm about to go to jameli i'm meeting lanswell um there lanswell lusanda i was supposed to meet them earlier but obviously i was doing my hair and that took the whole day i think i finished i started at around 
past 10 finished at like half past five i knew it was gonna take that long considering these things are freaking tiny and um they're long so i was like okay whatever valid so i kind of just dedicated my whole day to chilling there but guys also why did i forget the cost of like braids i just don't know why braids are expensive one of you guys actually just dm me and was like my um my stories or like my vlogs or whatever are not good for the bank account i was like they're not good for my bank account i'm not good for my bank account zx online is not good for zx online's bank account and it's like i don't i think i just booked the braids woman i didn't actually think like i didn't think about the part where i have to pay for it so now when i have to pay i was like damn it's the same me that booked the scene that has to pay for it damn but anyways guys um i'm not gonna bring my camera to james but... hey guys it is sunday and i'm gonna kiss you <laughs> No, but for real, it is Sunday. I, as you guys saw, got my hair done yesterday. I'm absolutely obsessed with how my hair looks. Today, I'm going to brunch with Snee and your Elizy. Your Elizy was like, babies, let's go for brunch. And I was like, I'm always down to eat out. Do you know, like, like, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna go. They're coming to get me, like, soon. Um, they said they were leaving like 10 minutes ago so they'll be at my place soon and yeah i feel so beautiful today guys like i feel stunning i feel yes you know hi guys i forgot that i was vlogging hey, <laughs> guys hey, you know too focus on my tiktok career that's my problem that's hey, Hi guys, we are at what is it called? Nova Bistro. Nova Bistro. Oh, Nova. Nova Bistro. It's in Houghton, in the Houghton yeah. Hotel. They said they're not allowed to use our cameras, so I'm really breaking the law right well, now. Guys. Yeah, she's right. It's literally. <laughs> it's because they want to protect the famous. So they want to protect married men, at all married us. men who come here with their girlfriends. Exactly. And I don't want to blow your cover. I don't want anyone to find out about their man cheating on this vlog. <laughs> So guys, I'm gonna try and vlog on my phone for the most part or sneak you guys in when I can. But just know that I'm sneaking so you might not get what you want to get. But I'm gonna try. Guys, we made it out alive. We're outside so we can vlog again. Things are making sense and are back in order. And as you can see, sun kissed girls only. Gorgeous girls. Kuti who? Okay.
Good morning, my babes, and welcome back to another day of vlog. Today is Tuesday. I didn't vlog yesterday because I was filming the entire day and I needed to use this camera, so it was just not going to work. But today, <clears throat> We are starting off our morning with a trip to Young Again Aesthetics. This is another aesthetics clinic that is here in Johannesburg that have reached out to me to actually try out some of their offerings because you know that I am in my gym rat season. <laughs> um, I definitely wanted to go and check them out and see what they could do. But today we're just going for sort of like a meet and greet consultation where she'll kind of just walk me through what they do there and then I'll pick the treatments that I want to do. They have stuff like fat freezing, facial, like they have a bunch of stuff there. So so I'm really excited to check them out. Um, so you guys are going to come with me. I'm going to go do that. I know I'm not wearing earrings, guys. I feel so naked. But I'm kind of lazy to put them on if I'm keeping it about with you guys. And my Uber is nearly here. So see you guys. I'm on our way. <laughs> It's very cold, yeah. It's equal to frostbite if you think about it. Mm. But I'm gonna apply a gel pad on you, mm -hmm. which completely numbs you. Okay. As well, protects your skin mm -hmm. from not freezing. But it freezes the fat cells below the skin. Feels like a pinch. Yes, you just feel the suction. Yeah, like a suction and pinch. Give it literally five minutes and then you're gonna be like, what am I doing again? <laughs> Your fat cells are being frozen. Kill. So dolls were back from young again it was a great little experience i learned a lot about fat freezing and i honestly had never seen or like heard of it or seen people do it like like on social media like i feel like people do do it but maybe they don't talk about it as much but yeah guys it's a really dope treatment and i'm so excited to see the results she says um so literally with this it's not something that you need to do like all the time you do it once and then i think she said like you can't do it you have to wait until at least four weeks four five weeks before you can do it again because obviously it uses extreme um cold temperatures on your body so you might get frostbite and i was like obviously duh i think it freezes the fat it goes to like eight minus eight degrees i was like damn that's crazy but let me actually just read to you guys so you can get a little bit of an explanation on what fat freezing is it says here <clears throat> fat freezing is an effective non-surgical treatment for the reduction of body fat it can selectively target troublesome areas of fat such as stomach fat love handles inner thigh fat bingo wings double chin and back fat over the following weeks your body naturally eliminates these dead fat cells therefore revealing a slimmer redefined figure everyone is different and results can vary depending on how your body naturally reacts to the treatment the original size of the fat pockets and your lifestyle habits following the treatment during the treatment the fat cells are frozen causing the cells to crystallize and then die your body naturally removes the dead cells through its normal elimination process via the lymphatic system 
Immediately after your procedure, you can expect sensitivity, swelling, and redness on the treated area. This is normal. In some instances, it is common for the treated area to feel bloated or look swollen for the first three weeks. Don't be discouraged by your results now. The true result will show once your body has recovered. We always recommend you allow 48 weeks to see your results. Results can continue to improve for up to 12 weeks Sorry, following your treatment. However, we have some clients who start to see results appearing from as early as two to three weeks. So basically, um, it also just shows you um, how you're supposed to maintain and like treat afterwards not allowed to have any hot drinks for the next four hours kind of alcohol for the next two days which is really awkward since maria's birthday this evening and um what else yeah you have to drink at least 2.5 liters of water every day um reduce intake of caffeine to two cups a day i don't really drink that ever and then it says like to reduce alcohol to two drinks a week uh yeah that's basically what i'm getting from it so yeah guys basically what i need to do is drink a lot of water um between now and like my results so for the next 12-ish weeks i need to be drinking a lot of water so that my body can get rid of these fat cells baby as you guys did see in the video i decided to do the treatment on my love handles one thing about my love handles guys one thing honestly like i don't have a big problem with my stomach in g like my stomach is great and it looked extra great today, which I love that it came out for me and showed out for me when other people were looking at it. <laughs> but my love handles are out of control. So yeah, she said we're going to work on my love handles. And then I am also going to do a city light treatment, I think, on the back of my thighs. It is my birthday, guys, in October, and I need to look snatched for my birthday. I need to look... I need to have the best body I've had in like a while. So I'm doing everything that I need to. Gym, working out, eating clean everything's getting got because the girls need to be <laughs> snatched okay i'm really excited for this journey with them i love the fact also that i don't have to come in every single week to do this that's my favorite part and majority of the work can be done like at home in the kitchen by just eating healthy and just changing or creating a better lifestyle they also do give you a pamphlet here it's your guide to healthy eating they give you like all these different plans you have breakfast dinner lunch um it's not like um a diet more so giving you suggestions on things that you can eat there's also a snack list but y'all guys as i mentioned it is maria's birthday this evening and um i'm going with sneeze arena we are gonna go it starts at like six it's a dinner party at monarch they are also gonna rock afterwards but i i just don't i'm not sure that i'm gonna pass that test because rocking during the week um is a bad a bad thing for me to do and also my hubba is coming very early in the morning tomorrow so i don't think he's but definitely gonna go and support her for the dinner i got an outfit that's really cute from superfabulous guys superfabulous my favorite thing about them is that next day same day delivery i literally ordered it yesterday and got it yesterday it's only 80 rand which i think is pretty worth it considering i ordered and got myself on the same day um i really enjoy my outfit so i'm happy about that i'm thinking now for real for real to film for you guys a um three in one get ready with me so i won't get ready on the vlog then i'll just get ready on my camera which just means that i need to start getting ready if we have to be there at six i should probably start getting ready at like two <laughs> if i'm keeping it a buck with y'all but actually Drams because all I need to do is my face because my hair is already done. So I can actually start getting ready at like four. The drama was not necessary. I want to show you guys my full outfit since I am giving a little bit of a look. Pairing it with my makeup and my hair and my jewelry so that the girls are cute. I think. Hey guys, your good sis has been editing for her damn life. Today's one of those days where you have to choose between am I going to edit the vlog or am i going to edit the content that i need to actually send through to client for approval and today unfortunately paid work came first i literally have before this vlog a whole other vlog that's supposed to go up and i haven't edited it because i've been busy with paid work guys and because of the fact that i'm going to cape town next week i have to film for madame life this week and at the beginning of next week there's so so much work there's so much so much work okay um also with our party 
we have to keep going soon i'm going to be getting um, a package from zaful that's actually coming i'm trying to see if i'm going to be doing it for a in vlog haul or if i should do it as a separate haul just because i want to see how many products are in there so i'm going to show you guys when everything gets here i'm, I'm obviously not going to show you guys the products but we'll see when that gets here i should also probably start thinking about getting ready since it's four o'clock now and Sni says we should leave at six so i should probably pass the move one eternity later like this for thank you for Thank you. 